flat cap cafe racer come and join me we're gonna sneak in and see what mr rapid roy's got going on in his garage today maybe we can see that morgan Anybody home? Hey, come on hey. in. Welcome. Hey, we thought we'd take a chance and uh, see what you've done to your uh, update to your uh, Morgan since the last time we talked to you, which was about seven months ago. Well, except for the short ride we did. <laughs> if I'd known you were coming, I would have cleaned. Oh, oh, this place is absolutely filthy. We've got... Roy's car over here. What year is this, Roy? 17, so far. 2017. He's got less than 8,000 miles on it. And it's for sale. And he's selling it. For a lot. <laughs> for a lot of money. Then we got over here, we're looking at the uh, Morgan. Oh, and he's going to, we're going to take a, he's going to tell us what he's changed and what's, uh, what he's learned from seven months of owning a Morgan over here. And if you take a look over here, some of the bikes he's got, he's got his Yamaha that he did the uh, tat on. We, we showed you a video on that. It's all cleaned up now. <laughs> it was all cleaned up probably 24 <laughs> hours afterwards. No, it took about two weeks. <laughs> then, we, then he's got his Moto Goosey Special here. And we just went out on a ride with that one just the other day. And we're going to do an article on his Yamaha RD in here. Uh, we're going to take that to the, hopefully to the bike show, and he should win because it's orange and it should win. Mm. Then he's got his 650 Turbo here. It's 1981. We did a video on that not uh, probably a year ago, and it's got a lot of views on it. 83, I'm not sure. 80. 83, 1983. Okay. There's the pilot. He's got his in there. So, so we, I need to change that to retired. Retired. <laughs> retarded. And, and the, the posters there are what I brought to the shows before. Oh, yeah. That's kind of interesting stuff that I collected on there. You're never going to get back there. Yeah, there was only, uh, there was probably only uh, a little over a thousand of these bikes brought in the United States, so there wasn't that very many. 1015 to United States, 1777 ever made, and 600 of the United U.S. bikes were donated to Botech School and, and not supposed to be titled. And some of those recently went up for sale. So, but we're going to see what's going on with the Morgan, so stay tuned. So we're out here and we got a little bit better picture. We got the garage door open so we can see Roy's Morgan uh, back in, I guess it's almost July or August right after you got the car that uh, we did a little thing on it and a lot of you have tuned in and watched that and so I thought we'd bring you a little update here. So Roy, why don't you tell me what's been going on with the Morgan since you got it last? Well, I, for a winter project, um, I did a few things. The first thing I did was all the maintenance it needed, which was just <laughs> an oil change, oil filter change. And uh, this S&S engine uses a, um, a dry sump oil tank. And since I leave the car sitting a lot, uh, it's not good because the oil, oil drains from the uh, oil tank very slowly into the small crankcase. So it's called uh, wet sumping. And uh, it's not good. So what I did was put a, uh, a valve on the oil line from the tank to the engine and it's underneath there i don't know if you want to get it or you'll get a shot of it later okay. later maybe okay. and i put a shutoff valve and i made this decal or placard to let you know that uh, if someone doesn't know that's on this car that they might see that and i also have a warning on the uh, start switch that tells you to open the valve because you don't want to have that valve off when you start it <laughs> that was my problem because I go for months without starting this thing and, and I don't want the, crank, the crankcase filling up with oil. So I did that and then I kind of wanted to give it an aviation theme because um, it's kind of like a World War I aircraft in a way. It has that feel yeah. when you uh, are driving it in the sound. And, um, 
Almost look, almost look like a partial radial engine in the front. So anyway, uh, I got some aircraft instruments. I got a uh, whiskey compass, panel mount whiskey compass. I found on eBay a 1950s Navy Waltham wind-up clock and a hour meter, typical of most uh, light aircraft. And I did the installation. It was kind of tough to... Uh, actually tear into this and, and drill and cut and uh, modify it in this way, but I think it turned out really nice. And uh, it has that, has that kind of nice look just to make it mine. You know, most of these things, in fact, none of them are, are the same. Uh, is, it all, all, is it all dysfunctional then? Yes, and, and that I have to calibrate that compass needs to be swung, and I need to make it uh, read more accurate for, this, for the roads here because I don't really want it to read magnetic. Uh, there's about 11 degrees of, uh, of um, variation here. So and I've got a lot of deviation from the, uh, from the metal parts of the Morgan. So, so this tells you how many hours are the engine's running? Yeah, engine running hours. Okay. And I actually have that. On aircraft, they hook it to an oil pressure switch. Uh, on this, I was able to find a, uh, a fuse for the uh, fuel pump, which is only running when the engine's running. So it works in the same way, and it's a lot simpler. Yeah, the other thing I did, I sit on cushions on this. They're not in there right now, but because um, the seats are not adjustable. The, the pedal the pedal box can move forward or aft, yeah. uh, but you have to unbolt it. So I wanted the wheel a little bit closer to me. It's not adjustable. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and I, so I put these spacers in right here, oh, chrome, chrome spacers to bring it three quarters of an inch closer. And that helps, that helps. So that was another thing I did over the winter. Some of the chrome. Some of the hardware he did. Yeah. He did here. Um, these these bolts are really were really long and sticking out, and they weren't. Yeah, and I can give you that picture so you can show that they were long, and I cut trimmed those and got chrome bolts for those. Uh, a few chrome pieces here. Um, up here, those. Probably a couple other places I'm forgetting. Yeah, around the, um, yeah, and they're hard to see, but way down here. Tell me, tell me about, uh, what do you think about the new Morgan? I got this because I was afraid they were going to do away with the S&S or the engine mounted off the front, and they did. Um, Maybe they could have put a Moto Guzzi engine in it or something else, but this engine does not meet Euro emissions for 22. So I got one of the last ones with the SNS engine, and um, the new one has a three cylinder Ford engine, uh, 1.5 liter. This is two liter. Um, and I just like the appearance of this better. I tell I, me what you think. <laughs> I went online and I did look at it. And it and it really, they've taken the essence of the Morgan away from it by, one, removing the engine out in front. And some of the other changes, like they had bungee cords to the side of it. And it's like it's set up for traveling, and, you know, I never do that. So, And it doesn't have the exhaust on the side like this does. And I don't know. I'm, I'm glad I got this one. This is one of the last ones they made. Well, another part of it is when they start making that new one, they've made this one a lot more valuable because... <laughs> I'll go along with that. Yeah. How many miles you got on it, Roy? 224, I think. 224? Well, this is a flat cap cafe racer, and I appreciate Rapid Roy taking the time showing us his Morgan 3. And hopefully, he's only got a couple hundred miles on, he hasn't got it broken in. I would sure like to get a ride with it. And I think the. I'll let you drive it. Oh my God, I'm about to I pass just out. I'll let you drive the turbo. <laughs> oh, oh man, I got to do that. So once we get it out in a row, we'll do another video of it because it just it sounds neat, it looks neat, and I bet you riding in it's going to be really great. So this is a Flat Cap Cafe racer out for today. Thanks wow. for watching. Say bye, Roy. Bye. <laughs> Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.